hundreds marched through Niger's Agadez on Sunday to demand the departure of U.S. troops from a military base there. That shortly after a source familiar with the matter said an agreement had been reached between the army and Washington to start such a withdrawal. Military rulers in Niger, like juntas in neighboring Burkina Faso and Mali, have been ending military deals with one-time allies like the US and France, and instead fostering closer ties with Russia. We want Putin, we want Iran, we want China, but equal, equal. We are not Russia's slaves, we are not China's slaves, we are not Iran's slaves. We are equal, equal, with dignity, with respect. Agadez is home to one of two military bases out of which the U.S. military has been operating. Air Base 201 was built at a cost of more than $100 million. The drone base has, since 2018, been used to target militants in the Sahel region. There was, as of last year, a little over 1,000 U.S. troops in Niger. But in March, Niger's ruling junta said it had revoked a military accord allowing U.S. Department of Defense military personnel and civilian staff on its soil with immediate effect. The Pentagon had said it was seeking clarification and that the U.S. government had held frank and direct conversations in Niger ahead of the announcement. On Friday, a source, who asked not to be identified, said there would be conversations in the coming days about how the drawdown of troops would look. The source said there would still be diplomatic and economic relationships between the U.S. and Niger.